make a circle, guys. This is a storytelling session. It's not a lecture. Tell our Toastmaster, will it break? Fellow Toastmasters, Lord Krishna shifted his kingdom from Mathura to Dwarka 5,000 years ago. Are you aware of that? He ran away from Jarasan in the battlefield, Ram Meta. So he was born in Ram Chor. That is the story. And he established his kingdom here in the land called Saurashtra, which is a part of the state of Gujarat. The whole western peninsula of Gujarat is a region known as Saurashtra. It uh, contains all the seashore of Gujarat state, Porbandar, Dwarka, Jamnagar, Bhavnagar, Surat. It has the jungles of the, it is the mountains of the mid Saurashtra, it is a desert up north in Kutch. This land of Saurashtra has got a history full of bliss. It has the tales and the history is chronicled in the monuments which you see today, in the tombstones that you see today when you travel through in the old forts, in the old palaces. The history is the history of sacrifices, is the history of love, is the history of great valor by the rulers over the period of time. <coughs> we come to the mid 19th and 20th century. The same Saurashtra had more than 500 small princely states and they were ruled by the small kings, princes. Some of them had their own railways also, some of them had their own armies and later on of course the Britishers annexed them. But we are in the middle of the 90s, 90th century, 19th century. So 1800 something. That is where our state is set. The Rajputs of Saurashtra are the warrior class. They are the landlords. They fight for the people. They also till the land. And over the period, they have been actually branded even today as the ruling class. 1800 something, there is a village, there is this young Rajput, our hero. He is an orphan. He has lost all his land. His father, in fact, lost all the land. He is all alone in an old dilapidated hut in the village and replete with poverty. One day he gets a letter from the father of his fiancée and his heart stops a bit. In the letter it's written that on the tenth day if you don't come up with cash 1,000 rupees, those days 1,000 rupees or more than 10 lakhs. Forget about Rajba. Rajba was the name of his fiance. He thought as if the heavens had broken. Rajba is his childhood sweetheart, friend, lover, then fiance, and he had made dreams of being with her, when she comes, she will bring a lot of dowry, 
which is a dumb thing, which was a dumb thing those days, and make his house, and he could once again live as a human being. He ran to the local Shylock, the moneylender of the village, and caught his feet, a rascal, getting feet of the moneylender, with whom the hero's father, the rascal's father, had mortgaged all his land and farms and everything. And says, Uncle, please give me thousand rupees. At the cost of my life, I will return. But if I don't get this thousand rupees, it will be worse than dying. I will not be able to live, nor will I be able to die. I will pay up the debt at any cost. If not in this life, in the next life, I will be born as your son and pay up the debt. But please be without me please. After a lot of discussions, the Shylock moneylender wrote something on the note and gave it to him. said, sign it. Then he read, very read the note. The earth started shaking under the street. It was written that till you return a thousand rupees, you will be the brother and sister and you will not consummate the marriage. He signed it. Went got married. When his in-laws side people, the village panchayat, heard about this, they almost spat at the girl's parents for demanding such treacherous sum of money from such a poor man. However, he brought the girl home and they got married. On the first night, he put a sword in between them and slept. After three nights, the girl said, What is this about the sword? Are you taking revenge on me? Of the misbehavior of my dad? He says, No. Read this now. Then she read. She gave accolades to this man. You are my man. Next day, she took out all her ornaments. Man said, what are you doing? You want me to prepare the deck with ladies' ornaments? No way. He said, she said, no. Buy two pairs of clothes, armors, weapons, and two horses. From today, I will be your brother. I know swordsmanship, weaponry, and everything. Let's go and earn. I know how to do patrolling at night. They went. they went and took job with the king in the capital. A year passed. They are patrolling the terrace of the king's bedroom in the royal palace. There is a nice monsoon night. Wonderful atmosphere. Romance in the air. And the queen hears the girl singing. The next day she asks, You are not a man. She reveals the secret. In between there is a story that during hunting the girl saves the life of the king from the lion of the sky. The king were happy. They give a lot of money to both of them. They go back, repay the loan, and after that only they consummate the wedding. This is the blissful Saurashtra, and there are so many stories like this chronicle in a wonderful novel written by a great writer, Sarah If you read it, you will know what are the value systems in our society of those days.
it gives us strength and independence of mind. Madam President.